Hello intern friends, in this video we're gonna look at how to approve drivers. Previously you could only deploy all drivers, now we can choose which one we want to approve. So this is new if you're looking in July 2023, but after this might be already in for a long time. So let's don't lose any time. Let's go to the console in tune.microsoft.com up here. Then we click on devices. And if we scroll down a bit here in devices on the windows, we have these three since before, but now we have added driver updates. So let's click on this one. It's going to be empty. And here we can create the profile. And I have mostly virtual machine. I actually enrolled an old Dell Latitude 47, no, 7450. So let's create for that one because virtual uh, devices doesn't have any drivers. So I have a Dell E4750, was it? Sorry. So we can uh, uh, drivers for Dell Latitude E4750. So it's better to do it per module. So I have a um, group, Azure AD group, who add all now all Dell machines, but you could do it per model. So we go next. So now here we have the settings. So the inventory can take up to 24 hours. So I'm going to do this part, then pause and continue tomorrow with the second part. But for you, of course, you won't notice anything. So, but if you try this yourself, don't sit and refresh for hours. It can take some time. So automatically, that's a bit how it is today. So I'm going to do manually. So that means that each driver we have to go through and approve. So a bit more administrative uh, task for us, but better control if it comes in a bad driver or we really want to control it. So we'll go next here. And here, I'm not going to assign this to all machines. Again, I have done an Azure AD group for all my uh, Dell machines, all my Dell 7450, all one of them. And here you see it's only one device. So let's enable this one and create. So now we are in the waiting time here. So it's created. After it's going to be a few drivers to review, probably not that many. It's a very old hardware. We'll see. So it's still spinning. It's going to take some time. Uh, we need to enable uh, for getting some more data for reporting. I'm going to add a link to this in the description. So it's basically described here. At tenant level, uh, you need to change this to on. So we have to go into Microsoft Intune Admin Center, where we are, tenant administration, connectors and tokens, and Windows data. So the first one is tenant administration. Then it's connectors and tokens. And in here, it was Windows data. So we just need to enable this to on. And then save. So this is going to give us more, uh, uh, more uh, reporting how the driver is going to go. So we have it on on. And that's going to help for report. And report we find in reports. Then it's going to be under Windows Update. And I don't have anything right now. I'm just enabled it anyway. And down here we have for window drivers update. Then we can get success, error, canceled and everything. So that was about that. So if we go back to devices and we scroll down here, we have our driver updates. And it says zero to review now, but if we wait, uh, well, it says 24 hours, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. We're going to see a few more here. So I'm going to go to bed now. See you tomorrow. Okay, now I have waited 24 hours. It's a new day. So if we go back to our devices and under devices, we have something that's fairly new, at least now in July 2023. It's this driver update. It's even in the preview. So let's see if there have been a few. Uh, there are actually two drivers. Excellent. So if we click here now, 
Usually it should probably be more, but uh, it's an old model, Latitude E4750. So click to the drivers to review. Maybe it's more. So we have recommended drivers. It's going to see if there are any other drivers also. It's a lot of other drivers. Uh, let's go only with the recommended for this hardware model. So Intel system and uh, for Bluetooth. So not that much. And yes, it's very old, the release date. So um, let's say that I want to uh, use these two. So then let's click on it. And so uh, let's say we have the actions. So by default, they are always declined. So they will not install these when they run the Windows updates. So we're going to set allow, oh, actually a pro, and then we're going to put the date. So when this become available. So if we wanted to test this, we could have two groups, one for validation or run, and after we can have for the rest. I have only one machine. So I'm going to say that this one can become available today for my device. Let's save this one. So now this one have changed to approved. Uh, the Bluetooth one, I'm going to approve that one also. Of course, you should probably not approve everything. Well, you could, but you be for, for a reason, of course. Just to change data, I put that one tomorrow for me here. So they are both approved. Uh, I could approve other drivers, but uh, since the recommended are the one who really match my uh, hardware and version the latest, so we keep those two there. So once you have approved, if you regret that you don't want to approve, you can't go back to uh, deny, but you can go to pause. So if we click on this Intel, let's say that we don't want this, we can do a pause action and then save. So then it changed to pause. Then it won't uh, deploy that obviously. And when you're ready, if you notice that was an issue and it finally wasn't an issue, either you keep it paused or you go back to approve and then put the date again. I'm gonna put back to where it was. And then it's back to approved. So you, you have the option to uh, pause one. So perfect. So now if we go back up here, it's no, there are no to review because all the drivers that are um, recommended are now set to be approved. And I would have thought that you could see the approval date a bit easier. Let's see if it's just for my, uh, let's zoom out a bit. Yes. So application device, let's see. I don't think we can see more than this. Nope, that's that's the maximum. So I'm, I'm gonna zoom in again. Okay, excellent. So this is how you approve uh, drivers. So now my device here, again, as I showed earlier, I only one uh, who is a physical one and it's this one. Mm -hmm. If we go to hardware here now, then we see the the my uh, Windows 10 Dell old hardware can't even run Windows 11. Next time it's gonna check in, it's gonna take down one of our driver, the Intel one, and the other one was Intel, but that's gonna be approved tomorrow for this one. So when it check in, it's gonna install that. So that's how you manage drivers. So normally, yes, you if you have a, a lot of devices you would uh, do a sort of ring uh, one and ring two to test the drivers first. So you create one for all the validation of this model. Let's say take 10% of your company and approve that directly. Then after a week, if you have heard no issue with the driver, you approve it for the next uh, uh, ring uh, two who are all the others machine. A short video. Thank you very much for following along. See you in another video. Have a great day.